Do you want to know how to add a watermark or signature to your images using Luminar Neo? Would you also like to know how to do it faster and easier than adding the watermark one by one to your images? In this video, you're going to learn two things, how to add a watermark using Luminar Neo and how to make and use a preset to apply it to more than one image at a time. Hi, I'm Darlene with Digital Photo Mentor, and I teach beginning and intermediate photographers like you how to improve your photography all the way from capture and camera through to the end of the editing process. So if you're ready to learn how to add a watermark, let's get started with Luminar Neo. The first thing I want to show you and talk about is a format for your watermark. If you already have a logo or signature that is saved as a transparent PNG where the background doesn't show, that's great. But if you don't, you can make that work as well just as easily. Let me show you. Here's some examples of my logos. These ones here have transparent background, so if I apply them over top of an image, you'll only see the logo. If you only have something that looks like this, pure black on a white background, or color on a white background, or the inverse. This is not a problem. I'll show you how to work with any of those options as well. For the purposes of this demonstration, I wanted to show you how easy it is to make a signature file like this. All I did was use a black felt and wrote my name on a piece of paper, then scanned it. So if you don't already have a signature or a watermark, just do that. And when you bring the image into Luminar, Clean it up a little bit if you have any gray areas just by going to the develop module and increasing the contrast by dragging the black slider in on the curves and the white slider in on this side. Basically, you're making a steeper curve. If you want more detailed information on how to use curves, I have a full tutorial available. There's a link to that video in the description area below. Once you have your signature or watermark, it's time to apply it to an image. So how you're going to add the watermark is using layers. I also have a full tutorial on how to use layers in Luminar Neo. The link is in the description area below as well. The biggest thing you need to know here is getting started. Make sure you do this on a brand new unedited image. You'll see why in a minute. To add your watermark, Add it as a new layer by clicking the plus sign and then click on load image. If you've already done that, click see all and anything you've previously added as a layer will be available here. I've already done that with my name, so I'm just going to add it as a layer. The problem is immediately apparent because if I increase the opacity to 100%, you see the white background, but that's not a problem. We'll fix that in a moment. First, use the resizing tools here, either on the corner or on the edges, if you need to readjust the shape of your watermark, to size it how you want it to appear over the image and place it. I like to put mine in the lower right corner. Then, increase the opacity to 100%, change the blend mode to darken, and voila, the background disappears. I'm just going to adjust the position of it a little bit and hit enter to accept it. Now comes the fun part. Go down to the bottom here and choose actions, save as a preset. I'm just going to save it and name it as signature black lower right as an abbreviation. Once you've saved it as a preset, you can use this on other images. So now I'm going to go back to the catalog and I'm going to apply it to this image here. My signature will fit nicely in this bottom corner, so I just click on the preset, and there it is. Now remember I said to do this before you do any editing on your image? This is why. If I want to apply this to a few more images, I'm just going to select a few. Let's do these three here. You can do that by applying the preset one at a time, or make sure that you have the image that you have applied the preset to already selected as your main image. Then select the others you want it to apply to, right click, choose adjustments and sync, 
or you can use the keyboard shortcut, which in this case is Shift, Command or Control S. If you'd like to get a PDF keyboard shortcuts for Luminar Neo, I have that available as a free download. Check the description area below for the link. So I'm just going to click it. And now you can see that it has indeed applied my signature there and there, but we have a little oopsie. Because I had previously done some editing on this image, it's now erased or overwritten all the editing that I did, including removing all these dust spots and adjusting the color. Likewise here. So this is why I give you a precaution of when you're making the preset or saving the preset that you're going to use on your other images, make sure that that's all you've done. Don't do any other editing when you save the preset. Then when you apply it, do that first. Then go back and do any editing that you want to do. There's one other minor issue with making a preset. You'll notice that this image is vertical or portrait orientation. So let's see how that preset that was created on a horizontal image works on this one. See, it got a little bit squished. When the layer is applied, all you have to do is go in and readjust the sizing or the proportions. And of course, you can also move it around. So the preset is great for just a quick application of the watermark but you may need to make some adjustments if you have a vertical versus a horizontal, or if you want the logo or watermark in a different place on the image. Now, what if I want the inverse of the same watermark? I'm going to use the preset one more time and apply it. It doesn't look like anything's happened, right? Because we're applying a black watermark on a black image. But if we look under edits, it is indeed there. We just can't see it. So how do we fix that is I'm going to change the blend mode to normal. So you see the original and I'm going to share a little trick with you. This is also in my video about using layers in Luminar Neo. You can literally invert an image and make it into a negative by using curves. So if you open the develop tool and go down to curves, you put the black or the bottom corner of the curve up to the top and the one on the right down to the bottom. So you're inverting the curve, which creates a negative. Now you can see that the signature has showed up. One final step is to change the blend mode to lighten, because even though the black background doesn't show on this image, it would on another one. I'm going to move this to the left corner just for something different. So slightly smaller and left placement. Save it as a preset, and I'm going to call this one signature white lower left. Now let's see what happens if I apply that same watermark to this selection of images. Make sure the one that I've already applied it to is selected or highlighted in blue with a blue outline. Right click, adjustments, sync adjustments. Pay particular attention to this image. See what happened? I had done quite a bit of editing to this image to make it black and white with a sepia tone, and now that editing is gone, but indeed the signature is there. It worked on this image quite well, as well as this one. But of course, we've got the squished problem on the vertical images. Easy enough to fix. Just go to the layer and adjust the size. Likewise, I would adjust the placement on this one. So the process isn't perfect, but it allows you to get close. You can apply your watermark to several images all at once and just need a few tweaks to finalize it. Another trick would be if you want to do your editing first and then have your watermark applied to the finished image is export your final images and re-import them back into Luminar and apply your watermark to those. Let me ask you a question. There's been much debate about watermarks and whether to use them or not. So I'd love to do an informal survey. Tell me in the comment area below, do you apply watermarks to your images when you're posting them online? For me, I personally don't. If I'm sharing them on Facebook, I size my images smaller. So even if somebody takes that image, there's not much they can do with it. And my full high res gallery images are stored in my smug mug, which protects my images from right clicking and saving. So while I personally don't use watermarks, I'd love to hear from you. 
and let me know as well if this tutorial has been helpful. Watch this video next for a more in-depth tutorial on how to use layers in Luminar Neo. Remember to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. Until next time, keep photographing.